Hello, welcome traders. This is the explanation of CAN rule for plan your orders. And you want to limit your risk. You want to trade at a precise points of entry and precise points of exit after you have seen the market roadmap big picture and you know the big trend phase two as discussed in previous videos once you have your roadmap and the trend direction you go to the individual stock which are moving in that direction so now we are ready to make the trade this is the dashboard for real time one hour chart scanner so i'm showing you one hour four hour and three day chart to demonstrate this concept now the trend you can see is up based on market cycles since uh, march and also it is up in terms of the hedge fund major trend cycles we saw they're getting pullbacks we are in the fourth pullback right now in the market so it may tip over but until that happens and we get the confirmation we will take longs only so keep that in mind so now if you want to trade the pullbacks we applied the same logic of trading in the direction of the trend on pullbacks on the execution charts as well and what you see here these uh, price are the square root prices coming from highs and lows and it is squaring the price and this is what we'll be using to enter and exit the trades as per plan your order rule number four so let's say we are driving our portfolio decisions after we have done a bigger picture analysis on three-day chart now what we see here that we have a pullback on the on the rightmost chart on the four hour chart we have this entry points and so also from on the hourly charts so once you hit that stage that we want to go long now this is going to be a, a daily bar it will go up and down for the whole day and the day is comprised of four hours and then four hours comprised of an hourly bar so when we are hitting these levels now this trend is going down on hourly and four hourly which is fine it doesn't matter to us because we are driving the chart from three day chart right so when this condition happens you can see price is holding at these levels very nicely so what we will be doing is we'll be placing our buy orders here on market and you always want to have the market pull you in now the logic might tell you hey this support is going on here we have this wedge going on here which is fine we have a precise entry points and we want to make sure that this oscillator is on the downside the green one especially right and don't want to be on the top so this is a perfect condition right here you have to watch that you cannot watch 100 things you have to pick three four five things you want to trade and when the condition shows up you want to make money on those conditions so this is the entry 5268 exit is 5513 all right you trade options you trade stocks you trade vertical spread that is tactical moves there's a different coaching you can get how to maximize your profits but you can see here precisely as per grand rule four precise entry point precise exit point we're not chasing anything we're not chasing our price so now let's say you wanted to go against a trend a double top right so you're going against a trend so this is fine too because we have to have a nice position here so this is potentially pullback location right here now what we do we do the same thing on the downside market is going up here on this area 
right? You can see where the big seller came in and now we had the 50% of the move. We, we retraced almost 75% of the move. So if the seller was real, he will push it again. So if that is your thinking, at least technically the location is correct. You can see here, money flow is also in the right location to head down. So what we do is we do not chase the price. We let it pull us in. We're going to go and put a buy uh, the puts here at this level or we buy or we short the stock here at this level. Stop loss is here. So we have precise entry, no discussions. If you want to do one to one, one to two, there we go. Stop loss here, profit target one, profit target two. It took you seven, eight days, but you got seven dollar move. Seven dollar move, right? So this is how we apply GAN rule. So if I try this, so this BWA, you can see here, this was, uh, we want this price to be extremely stretched out on the oscillator and it was here right and let you let it pull you in so if this was the top we don't know this was the top we know it after the fact it could have gone up so if this was the top it has to prove itself and you uh, looking at this indicator and saying yes i should get some pushback stop loss this line entry this line target this line right there we go two and a half dollars so this is where you precisely make judgments now this was a little high risk but that's fine the other rules uh I can show you, but I'll not be able to explain that to you. This is top secret. We know exactly precisely where market will stop on even the one minute chart. Always doubling circuit, right? We do some mathematical calculations and you see it hit precisely. This is AMD. I just pick any chart you want. I can't show you the secret because, you know, there are some elements out there watching since I'm putting on the internet, right? So let me just show you, without showing you, the secret. This is from today. Same thing. We went long here. I mean, this one-minute chart, you miss by 10 cents. We know precisely to the tick where they will hit within 5-10 cents. So that level of precision is available only for pro trading experts who are in the Million Dollar Club. And it's, it's not even, nothing is available in public. I just want to help uh, share some ideas where all the rules are already there. There's no magic required. Just have to follow the basics. And you can put together the rule systems on pullbacks. So always roadmap, which I showed you, followed by big trends, followed by three day, six day controlling chart, pullbacks, and then you, well, you have, it takes five seconds to do all this once you have the entire tool sets so this is a new situation here so now again uh, we want now this this is the holding now holding now holding now right so if you want to take a shot four hour should be on the top side so hourly is on the top side so we are very close to this guy if you want to take that high risk trade you can short here stop loss here I'm waiting for the target to hit here it hit it happened once twice so you have to see if this is going to happen third time or not you know what I'm saying so your risk is one to one here which is fine you want to go to one to two then you have to trade a little differently so that means you have to break this down into smaller subsets where you take 30 cent loss for one dollar profit so i think that clearly explains that using basic structures of market we have a very precise entry systems 
we can use to apply GAN, rule two, sorry, rule four, plan your orders. This is one more example of uh, HAL market, I think as you know, was overall in the uptrend. This is a pullback entry long right here. Stop loss is double this size here on the bottom. Target is here. Same thing on this side. You want to take a shot. This is plotted for you. Shot here, target here. Stop loss was on the top. So I think this pretty much clarifies exactly. You can apply this on a $50 stock, $10 stock, $100 stock. We can apply one on UPS. And let's see how the, the CERL the sole discovery of energy which is shocking you know this is i just can't get over it myself personally you can just see this is one more example i wanted to show you when the market opens we know exactly where it's gonna go and we can reverse the market this is reversal system because you need that level of precision if you're trading options if you're trading option right here you're taking a heat and then you're adding on and doing a lot of things i tell you precisely the target is gonna hit and then you this is the place you want to risk it Anyway, this is loaded now. On UPS, I think it market broke up. Okay, now this is a good example right now happening. Now, if this is going to be a reversal, it has to prove itself. So, how will we go short if you're going to short the market? Right here will be short. This will be a target. This will be a stop loss. Now, you're, if that is what you're going after, what we recommend based on the GAN rule is wait for the pullbacks. That's why we have this weekly scanners and daily scanners giving us these precise pullback entries. And uh, in the next video, we will talk about how you can uh, generate income on the weekly pullbacks on doing credit spreads towards the direction of the market and uh, those are i think 90 percent accurate you will lose one trade out of 10 and you make monthly income uh, but you can see this is how we can apply rule number four without any complications uh, or research basic fundamental technical analysis thank you